Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to improve the battery life of your iPhone running iOS 14. There are always things that you should do and things that you should not do in order to get better battery life on your iPhone. So in this video I will show you guys 25 tips and tricks that will help you get better battery life on your iPhone running iOS 14. Now of course the biggest feature of iOS 14 are the home screen widgets. They're really awesome and a ton of third party apps are releasing widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Of course we want to have them right here on the home screen. They look cool. Most of them are also very very useful but they do consume battery. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and manage the way you use widgets. So if there are widgets that you don't really need don't keep them on the home screen of your iPhone. Just go ahead and remove them from the home screen if you don't use that or don't need that. Not just here, also on the widgets panel, you probably have a lot here. There are also the old school widgets, which might appear here. So just tap on edit, go ahead and remove these. And for the old school ones, press right there on customize and go ahead and remove from the widget panel if you're not using them. A new feature on iOS 14 is also sound recognition. Now sound recognition can be found under accessibility, scroll all the way down here and here we have sound recognition. Now what this feature does is that basically it will listen for different sounds which you can enable right here. You have a list of different sounds that you can enable and then your iPhone will listen for those sounds and once it hears one of those sounds it will basically send you a notification. Now this will of course keep your iPhone always listen for sounds that of course will consume battery. So if you don't really need that, don't use that, go ahead and disable it. Now of course when you get iOS 14 you're probably trying out the different features and you might have this enabled and just leave it like that. If you want to get better battery life go ahead and disable sound recognition. Another new feature on iOS 14 can be found under the music settings. So if you go to music right here you will find motion. Now what this does it basically adds like animations to the album cover art on the on the music app. So what you want to do is go ahead and turn this off or just keep it at Wi-Fi only because this will consume data as well as battery life. Now if you go to the settings of your iPhone and you go to accessibility and then go to Siri right here you will find a button that says always listen for hey Siri. Now what this does is that it will basically have your iPhone always ready to launch Siri. Always listen for hey Siri even though your iPhone might be facing down. Of course when it's facing down or covered it should not launch Siri but if you enable this then all the time it will be active waiting for that command and of course will consume battery. So go ahead and turn this off. To get better battery life notifications are really really important. So you should manage your notifications. Go ahead go to the settings go to notifications and here take a look at the list of apps probably have a ton of apps here that you don't even need to have notifications from those apps. So make sure you go ahead and basically choose for which app you want to have notifications and what kind of notifications you want to have for that app. So make sure you go ahead and edit these and just turn off as many as you can. Another thing that will consume battery is vibration. So if you go to sounds and haptics you will have here vibrate on ring and vibrate on silent. Now of course you need your iPhone to vibrate when it's on silent so that you can hear that someone is calling you or you get a message or something like that. But when you have it on ring you don't really need vibration so go ahead and turn that off. Very important battery life is also background app refresh. Go to general here and you will find background app refresh and you have a list of all the apps that are installed on your iPhone and of course all of these here are enabled for background app refresh. Of course you don't need all of these apps to be refreshing in the background so go ahead and just disable those that you don't need. Two factors that will consume a lot of battery on your iPhone can be found under the display and brightness settings. Right here we'll find auto lock and also rise to wake. Now rise to wake it may be cool but it basically will consume a ton of battery. So you have your iPhone in your pocket or on a table you pick it up and it will just light up the screen of your iPhone. Of course you can do that with just a tap you don't need this feature it just consumes a ton of battery. Also auto lock I always suggest that you go ahead and enable this because even if you forget your iPhone somewhere it will automatically lock it so that's really really useful and also let's say you're at your home or somewhere you leave your iPhone on a desk or somewhere unlocked it will just stay like that and of course it will drain the battery. If you have this enabled then it will automatically lock at the set time. 
and if you have an older device especially you should always enable reduce motion you can do that by going to accessibility go to motion and right here enable reduce motion so this will basically reduce the animations and the parallax effects on your iphone and make it work faster and consume less battery under the accessibility settings, if you go to touch right here, you will also find a feature called tap to wake. This will also consume battery. So basically just tap the screen of your iPhone, it wakes up the screen. So everything that is like always waiting for your command or waiting for your gesture will consume battery because it's always working in the background. So you can go ahead and disable this from the settings. And of course, very, very important to battery life, if not the most important things, are location services. So if you go to location services, you will find here a list of all the apps that have access or don't have access to your location. Make sure you go ahead and manage these the right way. Go ahead and disable location services for the apps that you don't need to have it enabled because location services will consume a ton of battery on your iPhone. The same goes for system services. If you just scroll down the list of the apps right here on location services, you will find here system services. Now here it shows all the different systems that will use your location services. So right here you have things like, maybe like location-based alerts, based suggestions, you have here networking and wireless, you have setting time zone, you have system customizations, and some things right here like compass calibration that you probably don't even need to have it enabled for basically your iPhone to use your location for this kind of stuff for compass calibration, go ahead and turn that off. Of course, there are important things here that need to be turned on like emergency calls and SOS and all that stuff, find my iPhone should always be enabled. But the most like things that are not that important, you can go ahead and turn them off. Of course, Bluetooth also consumes a ton of battery and there are apps that are using your Bluetooth and that way they consume a ton of battery. You can find out about those apps by going to privacy, go to Bluetooth and here we will find a list of all the apps that are currently using your Bluetooth. Go ahead and disable each one of them that you don't want to have access to your Bluetooth. And also Bluetooth itself, it will consume a ton of battery by using like airdroppers and things like that. It consumes battery being always enabled in the background. I see people keep it on all the time, even though they don't need it. So just go ahead, go to settings, don't disable it from the control center, go to settings and disable Bluetooth right here. Under privacy, you will find another thing here that consumes battery and that's motion and fitness. Motion and fitness basically gives access to apps to use your iPhone's motion and fitness sensors. So what you need to do here is just check the apps that you have granted permission to do that and go ahead and disable the ones that you don't want to do that anymore because always they're using this and consuming a ton of battery. Under privacy here you will also find analytics and improvements. You have like share iPhone and watch analytics. You have different like improve Siri and dictation, improve health and activity. Of course you can do these things if you want to, but most of them will just like consume battery and all that stuff. So go ahead, check these out and disable the ones that you don't want to use. On iOS 14, you will find now under settings a section called App Store. Now this used to be iTunes and App Store or something like that. Now it's just called App Store and here we'll also find automatic downloads for apps and apps updates. Now what you need to do is turn these off. Basically, App Store will decide to automatically update your apps or download apps when your device is on low battery. So that's of course very, very bad. Go ahead, turn these off and you can do that manually when you have plenty of battery left. And of course, make sure that you use Wi-Fi as much as you can. Using cellular data will consume way more battery on your iPhone. So the best thing is to use Wi-Fi as much as possible, not cellular data. I know people have like unlimited plans and stuff like that. They will just keep cellular data on all the time, but that will drain the battery really, really fast. So make sure you use Wi-Fi as much as you can. Another thing that people will leave on all the time is AirDrop. So if you don't currently need AirDrop, go ahead and turn it off. It's very easy. You go ahead, go to the control center, 3D touch on AirDrop and just basically tap receiving off and that will turn off AirDrop on your device. So if you don't need it, you're not actually using at the moment, go ahead and turn it off. A really great thing on your iPhone is that if you go to settings and go to the battery section, right here you will find a list of apps which are consuming more battery on your iPhone. Now, of course, at the top you will see probably apps that you use the most, but if you see any app that you don't really use that often, but it's at the top of the list here, 
go ahead and delete that app. Probably you will find a replacement for that app on the App Store, so make sure to check your apps and see which of them is draining the battery. And of course, you should keep the apps updated all the time. So I see people have like ton of updates on the App Store, they don't update their apps. Apps have bugs and these bugs get fixed with updates. So make sure you always have them updated at the latest version. Another thing I suggest you do if you have a device with an OLED display is use dark mode as much as possible. Now with dark mode, what it does, all the black pixels, basically all the black space that is on the screen are pixels that are turned off so they won't consume battery. That way your iPhone will have a much better battery life. Also, don't turn off auto brightness. So if you go to accessibility and go to display and text size, you will see here auto brightness. Of course, I have it turned off right now because I'm shooting the video, but you will have to turn this on and keep it on all the time. It will basically just adjust the brightness on how you need it. And of course, will not consume that much battery. And I see people close the apps all the time from the background. Don't close your apps from the background. Apps that you use frequently on your device should be on the app switcher. That way they're ready to go and don't have to reload each time you load them. And of course, that way consume a ton of battery. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 25 tips and tricks that will help you improve battery life on your iPhone running iOS 14. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.